hello hello my enthusiast still video back in the business today i want to share with you a workflow i've been working on it's a lead generation workflow that takes leads from google maps and then save every information in the google sheet so you have two sub workflows the first one will receive the keywords and then we'll search through google map we'll save to google sheets the second one then will get all the missing emails since emails of the list are crucial details we'll use the open ai new response api and then we'll update the, the rows of leads who do not have the emails so let's go through it so let's first test our workflow we open our chat and we will copy this and we'll search for restaurants in kimirongo Then we'll wait. All right, then we have all our 20 items in Google Sheets. If we go ahead and check our Google Sheets, we'll see that all the restaurants were added, but we'll see that most of them are missing the emails. So we are going to go ahead and also test the second workflow to also see if it can add the missing emails. So I will test workflow. We got our 20 items filtered. They all don't have emails. The first item, as you can see, the first item we got its email. The second item we got its email as well. So basically the OpenAI research is doing its work of going through all the websites social medias scraping them and giving us back the emails so as you can see most of them we have their emails returned some of them don't have the emails available on their websites so let's go ahead and explain each node of how it works independently the first one will be the message trigger then the message will act as a keyword then the second one will be the get request from serp api uh, which will help us to search through google maps we'll use the engine google maps of course then we will provide our api key in the query parameters and the message will be provided in the keyword queue and the result we'll get will be like this will be a json format and it will have a lot of information that we don't want and to clean them we'll use an llm I've chose to use a deep seek LLM. Then we'll go ahead and tell it this is the result I got from search on map. I want you to return an array of name, address, website, and email. And it will go ahead and search. And if it miss any field, it will just leave an empty string. And we will uh, tell it to only return a JSON formatted. And then here is the stringified JSON that it returned. We'll then parse the JSON so that our data look more clean. Here is all our data. There were 20 items. We'll then save them independently to, to our Google Sheets. To connect to Google Sheets, we have to connect, first of all, uh, by authentication. It's very straightforward. You have to sign up with your Google account. Then for the resource choose sheet, we'll need to append row and we'll choose the Google document that will have name, address, website, email, and phone number. The header must be well set so that uh, we can easily map all the values here. So as you saw, uh, many of them, actually all of them did not have email addresses. And that's what the second workflow actually helped us. So the second workflow actually introduces a new OpenAI API called the Response API. It's going to be triggered by the Google Sheet when we add a row to our Google Map leads. We are going then to filter the ones which do not have email address and we'll add the filter node and the condition will be json.email should be empty. Then for all of them, who do not have the email address we're going to add a loop 
loop over items the batch size should be one we are going then to open a new http request we are going to request api.open ai.com slash v1 slash responses we are then going to add the generic credential type the header of and then for the header of we have to add a new authorization key we name it authorization and for the key we have to come here to our platform.openai.com slash api key we then create a new key i'm going to create new n8 and key then we copy it and then to paste it here you have to first type bira and then you paste your key and then you save and then after that will be authenticated for the json body we'll choose json and we'll choose using json and you can go ahead and copy all of this basically what it does it has the model the tools that we are going to use is the web search the input will be uh, to instruct our request how it will be working extract the email information from the company research email will basically give it the address the name of the company and the website it will go ahead and first search the company crawl the website and the third field will actually uh, tell the response api how to return our properties here to return company name and email and after that we'll use some javascript to clean the data we'll first of all get only the output in the dot text we'll then replace some fields uh, unreadable format in json we'll then parse and then after parsing them we'll have our company name and our email and after getting company name and email we'll then update our google sheets how will we do that we'll add the google sheet node with an operation to update row we select the document the sheets and we map each column manually we will tell it to map using the name because we got from the response openai api we got the company name and the email so we'll have to first match the company name we got from response api with the name in our google map leads sheets then we'll tell it okay go and update this email and here is where it does it and after that it will loop through every uh row where we don't have the email and i stopped it at the row 14 it should have continued to the row 18 and as you saw it only missed one email which is very actually good well there is an email here which is saying email protected but you can go ahead and uh, crawl them by your own using maybe a api or any other crawling api and basically that's all about the second workflow i'm going to share all the workflow in my gumroad you can go ahead and copy paste hopefully this was uh helpful if you have any question you can go ahead and uh, add it in the comment sections and see you on the next one don't forget to like subscribe and share to other enthusiasts see you in the next one